See, lately I've been eating well, but I ain't really saving. Wading through sludge in my dreams, and I don't think I make it. The devil's got a hold of me, but I don't think I'm waking. I'm looking around for help, but all I see is fakeness. I mean, I'm constantly surrounded by preposterous imposters. I applaud you for your shortness on the Oscars, but no one gives a fuck about your tolerance. It costs us a fate, now it's fate, now it's fate, progress, fate, Congress, fate, got it covered. Actually, the first thing that hit me was the tone of your voice was not a perfect blend with the beat. That's okay. There's something just a touch disjointed or abrasive about your tonality and how it's matching uh, what the beat is doing. I think that just a tiny change in how you deliver the lines can make a big difference, even if it's not super noticeable necessarily. Um, this would be like, I'm, I'm speaking to the timber of your voice. So like the color and personality of your voice. Um, and sometimes, you know, when we're developing, we want to make sure we're consistent in our style and we keep it the same every time. But I think as we grow, we, we do small tweaks uh, that becomes important and, and kind of tailoring it to each song. And, you know, it's such a chill beat. I feel like you could soften your tone a bit and make it a bit more like bright or breathy, um, almost the same, but just a very small change in your delivery might make the marriage between your voice and the beat a little bit better. Uh, tuning your tone to the beat can take a long time to develop as a skill. So no worries. It might be worth playing with. So, you know, like once you get a good take, don't stop. Try another two more takes, slightly different tones, be experimental, you know you already got a good take, and see what ends up happening. See if any of those sound up end up sounding better. In my experiences, you'd be surprised, they often do. Slipping off a triple beam I don't even smoke Brando rolling off the weed All she do is scroll through Instagram And mind pollution feed So Your rap voice We have the hook Which is more of like a um, Like an effect driven Kind of like auto-tune type hook And then we have your uh, rap voice, okay? So your rap voice is very different sounding From your like singing, harmonizing voice And that creates good contrast Usually I really like to hear this, especially with artists who dabble in auto-tune, uh, a difference between your rap voice and your harmonizing voice. That's something I often recommend and developing artists do better, okay? So in that regard, you have a refined different style for your rap voice than your harmonizing voice. Um, your rap voice kind of reminds me just loosely, just a touch of like some Dammy, uh, Danny Brown type, the way that you have a tone, that tone to your voice. It is unique, okay? Um, I'm not sure that rap voice is the best match for this kind of beat. So I'm not saying that that is a bad rap voice, uh, but I'm going to start talking about uh, knowing which beats really optimize your rap voice in particular. I think this optimizes your harmonizing voice quite well, but the rap voice uh, caught my attention as not quite as smooth of a match, okay? Uh, but that's okay. Um, I get the sense that one of your strengths, Wolfman Longarm, is that you have a lot of vocal range, okay? Which not everyone has. You probably could rap in a bunch of different rap voices if you wanted to. Uh, I'm sure you've probably experimented with that to a degree. And not everyone can do that, you know, so that's kind of a skill similar to like a voice actor, okay? That's, that's a, it's a good skill to have. You can't really teach that. So at this stage, as opposed to like using the same rap voice on every single beat, I might encourage you to continue playing around with different rap voices and perhaps tune them a bit to the particular beat that you're on. Uh, still trying to make them a little bit different from your harmonizing voice. Um, you know, and try to see, you know, how many different kind of rap voices uh, you can come up with. You know, do the same verse in different tones while you're recording it and, and start playing around with that if you haven't already. Uh, might be worth trying. <laughs> 